Hello, Star Citizens. I thought I was gonna go through the new stuff they have added to the constellation in the last couple of patches. So we're gonna take a new trip into the EZG Endeavor. As you can see on the inside, they've changed the lighting a bit. It's not as bright as it used to be and gives you more uh, atmosphere. They've also added the new eating area, the lounge area of the ship, which has its own lighting now and flips up like that. It's beautiful, if you ask me. And of course, it flips up again just as beautifully. Fully animated. Oh, yeah. They haven't really done a lot of changes to the cargo area yet. We still cannot access the P-52 Merlin in the bottom of it. Hopefully that will come very soon. These are the beds and the sleeping quarters. Four of them, one for each crew, where you can relax, I guess. Yeah. Now for the bathroom will be next. <laughs> it's fully functional, some lighting problems here and there, and uh, some of the activation, trying to fix the doors and stuff, seems to be a little bit off yet. Especially when I'm now trying to close the door inside the shower. Seems to be still a bit iffy, but uh, you know, still a little better. It'll work eventually. <laughs> Of course, our citizen is gonna have a functioning toilet, so uh, I'm guessing some of you want to use this. <laughs> oh well, let's get out of this and check out the, one of the coolest new patches. Just came out like yesterday after this recording. It is the addition of the turret animations and I will be uh, showing them to you first person and how they look in the outside view. As you can see the bottom turret has a very narrow field of view, you don't seem to be able to see a lot and it's kind of dark underneath the ship making it it's more difficult to see outside. I'm guessing they're gonna change something, hopefully. Make it a bit more, give you a bit more viewing area than they already do. But it's still kind of cool, got a cool animation. This was the first person view. I'm also gonna take you through and show you how the turret looks when it deploys outside of the ship. As you can see, it's uh, very well animated, even in this early rendition of it. Um, I'm sure they're gonna do some work on it. Still, uh, the turret control seems to be like slow. You move your mouse and the turret doesn't really follow you accurately. That might be a design decision. They want to make it more difficult. They won't move as fast as you want it to. Given the shooter is a bit more of a challenge when you're shooting it. Or it might just be because it's still early ways yet. Um, we still have a lot of work to do with it. As you controls are a bit difficult with the camera, I'm struggling a bit, but you know, <laughs> we'll live. Again, you can see the narrow field of view that you have. It's, um, I hope they add some more of it. Kind of the same complaints that's on the freelancer cockpit. Just a little bit worse. <laughs> Closing animations and retracting of the turret looks to be working nicely. All right, that was the bottom turret. Now we're gonna go to the top turret. And we'll start with the first person animations. As soon as you see us coming up now, you will see 
the Battlefield of View, as I've said, and it just is an awesome animation. <laughs> moves around now you can see how it hangs behind the mouse control which I'm using now I'm not using my um, flight stick so it feels kind of slow in movement and it seems to kind of want to go where it wants to go it's uh, still how it works the deployment animation is of course really cool we're gonna now leave the seat and check it out on the outside view. Again, this turret has really nice uh, deployment animations. Really showing off the work they're putting into every single ship in Star Citizen. Again, this turret has the same problem as the bottom one. It doesn't feel responsive. It um, feels like it's lagging behind the controller. But still, it looks kind of cool, though. Now it's on deployment of the turret, looking good as all other animations, of course. <laughs> We're really putting good work into this. And as a last thing, I'll show the pilot seat animations from a third person perspective, which looks really cool as all the other animations in this beautiful looking game. Um, sorry for the little bit longer format of this video, but um, I think it's worth it just to get to see all the animations as you should see them, because this game is gonna get awesome if they keep up this quality of work. Cypher out.